another video. So for today's video, I'm coming to you live <laughs> from my bathroom and Honestly, this was the only time that I was able to sit down to make a video. I am getting ready to go make some other videos and it's actually a cooking video. So I know a lot of you guys were asking for cooking videos on my last video. So I'm really excited to make these videos for you. I'm going to be showing you some meals, some air fryer meals and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to go make that right now. And I thought that since I had to get ready for you know the video or I wanted to get ready for the video I would do a Q&A so I asked you guys over on Instagram what you guys wanted to know and you guys sent a lot of questions so a lot of these questions are about the current events that we are going through right now and I wanted to give you guys my opinion and tell you guys how I feel and what I think is going to happen with my job as a flight attendant if you guys didn't know and if you're new here my name is Ali and I am a flight attendant in the United States I am the mommy of three little boys I'm currently on maternity leave so I haven't really had to fly during the pandemic which I'm very very thankful for I'm glad that I haven't you know been exposed to that and have had to worry about you know bringing the virus home and any of that but I am constantly thinking about my friends and my co-workers I talk to them all the time to see how things are going and I worry about them I feel like the airline industry is going through a lot right now and a lot of you guys want to know how I feel and what I think whether I'm going back to work or not I have a feeling this video is going to be very long so if you have time to sit down and watch this video grab a snack grab something to drink I don't know let's hang out talk and answer some questions and if you have some makeup get ready with me <laughs> so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and let's get into the video okay so I'm going to be pulling up the questions right now and I am so sorry about this echo but I am getting ready to film some other videos and I need to get ready for those videos so I thought I would just answer some of your questions I did ask you guys over on Instagram to leave me some of your questions and I just pulled them up right now so as I'm getting ready I'm going to be answering them and I'm not really going to go into too much detail about what I'm using only because if this video would be just way too long but in case you guys are interested in anything that I'm using I am going to leave in the description box so you guys can check them out if you guys are interested okay so I'm starting off with primer and I'm going to be using the Becca backlight priming filter I got this during the Ulta 21 days of beauty and I'm just going to apply this to my face when I'm going to be filming a video I like to use very glowy makeup because it really makes a difference in videos all right, the first question is, I work for United and we are expecting massive furloughs in October. How about your airline? Oh, by the way, I'm using the new Benefit, well, I don't know if it's new, but the Benefit Professional Hydrating Primer. This was in a BoxyCharm. Okay, so honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. I, The little bit that I do know is that you, some people are taking voluntary time off, and I know that a lot of people are doing that as well in the airline industry. They're trying to you know not do furloughs but I, I really don't know the extent of it since I haven't been you know working since November but I really hope that there aren't any furloughs the next question is a question that I actually get asked a lot all the time every time I post the little sticker thing on Instagram to do a Q&A I always get asked this question and it's if we're having another baby if we're gonna have a fourth child and Honestly, we are 99.9% .9 sure that we're not going to have another baby because it's just, I just feel like our family's complete. We both feel like our family's complete. We both made this, this decision together and yeah, I think, I think, I think we're done. For foundation, I'm using one of my favorite foundations of all time and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 202 Creamy Natural. All right, so when do you expect to go back to work? Honestly, I had expected to go back to work next month in may between may or june i was going to go back but obviously it's just not going to happen because i know people are taking voluntary time off next month and i have to go through training anyway in order to go back to tr to flying i have to go through recurrent training so if you didn't know every year after we've passed uh, initial flight attendant training we have to go back and pass all of our emergency stuff and 
test and everything and kind of renew our license in order to stay flight attendants. So I can't go back to flying until I do that. It's just because of the timing of when I went on maternity leave, that is why uh, I have to, I would have to do it. So it's just I feel like it would complicate things for me to go back to work right now, especially because I don't know how flying is going. The only thing I really know is that a lot of flights have been canceled and not just for my airline but for the entire airline industry so i just don't think it's the right time to go back so my family and i are definitely making a sacrifice and i'm having to stay home a little bit longer before having to go back to work for eyeshadow i'm going to be using the tati beauty neutrals volume one palette which is the only palette i think she has out and i'm just going to play with it and see what I come up with. <laughs> I'm not very good at eyeshadow, so don't judge me. And actually, I think I'm going to go between this palette and the new Sigma palette. It's called Corderosa. So I'm going to leave the shades that I use in the description box in case you guys have these palettes. Where's the first place you're going when the shelter at home has been lifted? Man, I don't I don't know. I can't think of a specific place, but I do know that I just want to be able to go somewhere and not be afraid of getting sick or of bring, being, bringing the virus home. I just I, I I don't know, maybe somewhere somewhere like the mall. I don't know. I really don't know. I know that's not very exciting but it's just the fact that going to a mall right now is obviously not recommended just going somewhere where i don't have to worry about that you know just i just want like life to be normal again and by normal i mean being able to go to the store without having to worry about anything you know what i mean how are you and george spending personal time with each other during quarantine honestly it's just the way we've always done it once the kids go to bed we make sure to take that time to watch something to hang out, play a game. I don't know, we always make sure to do something at night. Like if I'm not editing a video or something, we make sure that we are spending time with each other once the kids go to bed, even if that means going to bed a little bit later. I mean, we regret it the next day because we're tired, but we need to. I think it's very important to spend time with each other and make each other a priority. Especially now because things are so crazy with all these kids like we have three kids at home and it's like every single kid needs you know their own thing their their own attention and it's just i feel like life is a little bit crazy and if we get too wrapped up on all the changes and everything going on we're just never going to make time for each other what do you find hardest about being a mom particularly during lockdown everything right now honestly i feel like Anything that I thought I had mastered as a mom is completely out the door right now during lockdown because I have, like I said, we have all three kids at home. We can't really go anywhere. And I mean, unless we go out for a walk and even then it's like, it's, 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 it's not that often that we do that, you know, because of just how the weather has been. But it's just honestly dedicating attention to every single kid. Each child has their own needs and I feel like I'm always failing one, if that makes sense. Like maybe I give too much attention to Leo because he's a newborn and obviously he needs it, but then Luca, my, my toddler, needs to be entertained and stimulated and you know, all that. And then I have my seven-year-old who is, you know, having to transition to homeschool and misses his friends and misses his teacher and you know it's just like I, I it's it's a lot and i feel like i'm always failing one of them and if let's say i have all three kids taken care of then i'm like wait did i neglect my husband today you know and vice versa so it's just honestly giving everybody the time that they that they deserve how do you like homeschooling i'm a teacher and miss my students terribly listen my respects to teachers because I was not made to be a teacher, <laughs> to be honest with you. I don't think I was. Or maybe I wasn't made to teach my own child because you know there's a difference between teaching your own kid and then also teaching other people's kids. I, 
in my opinion i feel like that's just how it is and it's it's really hard it's very challenging alex challenges me a lot whenever i'm you know teaching him he's very advanced and i know a lot of people say that about their kids but do alex has had some testing done and he's very advanced for his age academically so he questions me he challenges me and when i try to teach him something one way he's like no you know it's this way his mind goes like a thousand miles per hour and i can't imagine what his teachers go through every single day with him you know so if you are a teacher man my respects go out to you it's you guys are definitely undervalued underpaid and man you guys are great how do you manage your time as a flight attendant and being a mommy and honestly i always made it a priority to be home during the week I would drop my trips, pick up trips, swap trips in order to be able to stay home and, you know, be home for whenever Alex needed me. And I think that's the great thing about my job that with the seniority I have and with the airline that I'm with, I'm able to work as much or as little as I want. when you got married and how old were you when you had Alex so I was 18 when my husband and I got married and I was 21 when I had Alex I know people ask about you and the boys but I was wondering how's George been thanks for asking so George is pretty much on the same boat as I am we're trying to get used to him working from home balancing the kids and it's just it's a weird dynamic that it is happening right now because of him working from home and a lot of you guys left some really good advice on how to handle everything with you know working from home if you have like a significant other working from home next question where are you from originally i love your accent so i was born in el salvador i was born in the capital san salvador and i moved to southern california when i was seven years old and i grew up in southern california i grew up in la orange county area and i also lived in san diego and like riverside county for a little bit so uh pretty much southern california and i am now living in texas i've been in texas for a few years now so i don't know where would my accent be from would i have a i don't think i have a california accent but i think you can tell i'm hispanic because of my accent i guess some people tell me I have an accent and some people tell me I don't. I guess it depends on my mood, what I'm doing, and who I'm with. <laughs> Do you think it will be harder to become a flight attendant after COVID-19? Oh, that's interesting. I, I don't know. I don't... I don't know. I think, in my opinion, this is just my opinion. I could be wrong and I hope I'm not wrong. But I'm very hopeful for the airline industry once all of this just goes away. I hope that everything starts to pick up i mean people need to go somewhere people always will always need to travel people will always need to get from point a to point b and unfortunately you can't get to the other side of the world by car so you do have to fly there so i do think that you know at some point the airline industry will pick up and flight attendants will be needed will you wait for the pandemic to calm down before returning to work wish you all the best thank you uh i i think so i think that's exactly what i'm going to be doing i think i'm going to be waiting for everything to get better until we can we can see a change and the numbers going down and i think that's when i will be going back to work i can't i can't tell you exactly what i what it is that i'm looking for that will be the like the sign that it's time to go back to work but I think, I think I'll just know when it's time to go back to work. Do you think becoming a flight attendant could help someone get over their fear of flying? It depends on how severe your fear of flying is. For example, I used to be scared of landing. I wasn't like terrified of flying, like I never had a fear of flying. It was just landing for some reason just always made me a little bit nervous. Once I became a flight attendant, that pretty much went away. But I'm also the type of person that like adapts very well to things so 
Again, it depends on how big your fear is and how severe. If you're someone that gets like severe anxiety because of lying, not necessarily anxiety for anything else. Like if you actually have like anxiety, but if you have anxiety because of flying, I don't know if it would be something that I would explore only because you do need to be, you know, okay while you're at work because in case of an emergency or something like that. But how are you and your family doing? You guys are so sweet. I had so many of you ask me how we were doing and it's so crazy to me that a lot of you guys actually care because we've never met in person but you do care you genuinely care and i think that's just amazing and thank you guys so much for caring uh so honestly do you guys want the truth i'm struggling a lot a lot some days are better some days are hard but i'm struggling i can't seem to find a routine I find myself going to sleep very, very late and just being tired the next day, not drinking enough water, not feeling motivated to work out and it's it's starting to get to me, not gonna lie. I was even off of social media for a little bit. I didn't want anything to do with Instagram and it affected me. I, I find myself being moody. I snapped at my kids more than I would like to admit. Um, I've been very discouraged to upload. I've been very discouraged to go on social media and I don't know. I, I'm such a homebody. I'm such an introvert, but I'm also an extroverted introvert. So I, I, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm struggling with that. And all of a sudden I want to be able to go out. I want to be able to go and, you know, get on a plane and go home. I've been feeling very homesick. Like I mentioned earlier, I grew up in California and thanks to my job, I've been able to just pick up and go home whenever I've felt homesick so I can just go to California and visit my parents. But I can't do that right now, you know? I can't do that. I can't just get up and go to California and get on a plane. And I think that's been something that is really affecting me. I feel very stuck in Dallas right now, to be honest with you. I've been very homesick. And I know people are very passionate about Texas. <laughs> but so I wanna be I don't want it I don't want to offend you or make you feel bad, but I feel stuck and I've usually been able to just get on a plane and go to California whenever I start feeling homesick. And right now I feel very homesick. I can't just get on a plane, you know, and go visit my parents and visit my family and just go to the beach you know i can't i can't do that right now and that's kind of affecting my mental health in a way and i know i know that it's probably easier to think oh why don't you just move back to california but you know it's easier said than done but and i don't think we're moving to california anytime soon so it's just i like being able to get on the plane and go somewhere and i haven't been able to do that so that's kind of messing with me. Um, my sister-in-law is now living with us, so that's made things a little bit easier. She's home from college. Her program got canceled. She was studying abroad and she, it got canceled. So we, she's living with us for the summer. So that's made it less lonely. It's been nice having her around. It's been nice, you know, hanging out with her and spending time with her. So that definitely helps. Again, I do miss home. I do miss California. Then I'm going to set my under eye with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I actually got this in PR, which I can't even begin to tell you how I feel about that. I think that's so cool. Okay, since we're talking about that, about PR and stuff, and I just mentioned that, how do you guys feel about me mentioning that I got something in PR during these times. I know, I, I mean, I do have to disclose to you anyway, but does it bother you that um, during these times we are talking about about this? Um, do the swipe ups bother you? Do sponsored videos bother you? I do have a few sponsored videos that I do have to put up. I have contracts. Some of them have fallen through and I was lucky to keep some and since I'm not working as a flight attendant I do have these videos that I have you know contracts with so I I 
I'm just scared because I don't want to come off very, you know, tone deaf and showing you guys, you know, these things that you might not be able to buy because of your situation. So let me know how you guys feel about that. I, I do want to keep you guys in mind, but I also want to communicate with you guys that I did have these contracts before all of this happened and i'm currently not working as a flight attendant too so and i also don't want to come off as bragging like oh i got this in pr you know I, I never ever want that to happen for my brows i'm going to be using the covergirl easy breezy brow in the shade medium i really haven't been wearing blush these days i just feel like so much better without blush. I don't know. That's just something new. <laughs> so I'm going to add some bronzer. I've just been doing bronzer and highlight. And this is just the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. Let me answer another question. How is exclusively pumping going? I'm still going strong. I have been doing it almost for three months now. And I mean, I did it with Luca, so I kind of know what to expect, but it's definitely hard. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot harder this time around because I do have a toddler that's around me trying to get at my pump or as soon as I sit down to pump one baby starts crying or the other one needs a diaper change or the other one gets hurt or Alex needs something and I know a lot of you might say well why don't you just nurse him and it's just I do I do nurse him once a day but at this point I'm so used to exclusively pumping that that's all I do I just that's just what works for us at this point I'm going to be using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Wisp. I love this highlight. It's the only one that I've been using lately and it's super, super, super cheap. Just like six bucks, I think, or eight dollars, something like that. Okay, so I had to go away for a little bit because one, my battery died. And two, I wanted to add false lashes. I do not wear false eyelashes. I just, I'm so so challenged when it comes to lashes i'm just not very good at applying them but i really really wanted to try these cat eyelashes by my friend cat here on youtube which is also one of my friends in real life and you guys have seen her on my channel before and i'm sure that if you guys watch a lot of flight attendant content you've definitely seen her videos so this girl came out with her own brand okay not a collab a brand she came out with her own brand and came out with a few different styles of lashes so i decided to try them on and i don't know if i put them on right so i don't know if i'm doing her justice but <laughs> they are so pretty i got the most natural ones in my opinion the one they looked more natural to me and i love them so much very good quality very inexpensive which i thought was such a plus and it's just so crazy to see i remember when she first told me she was working on these and it's just so crazy to see the finished product so i will leave a link in the description box if you guys want to go check out kat and her eyebrows or her eyelashes not her eyebrows well she's got really good eyebrows but her eyelashes <laughs> i love this i love her she's amazing for my bottom lashes i'm going to be adding my favorite mascara at the moment my friend melanie gave this to me for my birthday and i don't know where this has been my whole life i've always been tempted to try it out because i always saw it on instagram like as an ad and i never i don't know i just never pulled the plug and so she told me she had it and how much she loved it and she just gave it to me for my birthday so I love it. If you've been on the hunt for a good mascara, try this one out. It's really, really good. I feel like I need a little bit of blush. Just a little bit though. I have like three different colors here. I think I want to do... So I have the... Is it Huda or Huda Beauty? I always hear people say Huda. But Huda Beauty lipstick in Girls Trip. Or the... Sigma Infinity Point, which is the new lipstick line that they came out with in the shade Epiphany. Or my all-time favorite lipstick of all time, <laughs> Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. What do you guys think? I'm going to use the Sigma lipstick in Epiphany. They came out with the uh, Corderosa 
line and I have the gloss, but it's in my car and I love it. And I want to do some gloss, so I'm going to do the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Gloss in Pillow Talk. Alright, and I'm just going to stop touching my face because if not, I'm going to end up putting a lot more makeup. And I feel like this right here is already a lot of makeup. Like, a lot of makeup. So that is it for all of the questions that you guys sent me. Thank you guys so much for always participating when I ask you guys to send me questions. I really appreciate all of your questions. And I love making these types of videos. Let me know if you guys want me to do, like, everyday makeup and just hang out like this. I love doing these. I love watching them. I love making them. And to me, makeup is fun. Whether it looks amazing or not, to me, it's just fun to apply makeup. So... Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if it's your first time here. Thank you guys for all of your support and for always commenting on my videos. Even if I don't get to reply to them right away, I am reading them. And I really do appreciate them. And I promise you I'm going to try my hardest to stay on top of replying to as many comments as I can. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are being healthy, that you guys are staying home if you can and if you can't. Thank you guys so much for still going out there and being in the front lines. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.